fellow citizens, I'm State College Mayor Ron Filippelli, and I want to provide our community an update on State College's COVID-19 response. As stated in previous updates, State College has been working and communicating closely throughout the pandemic with Penn State, Center County Government, Chamber of Commerce, Downtown State College Improvement District, Mount Nittany, and other partners to ensure a coordinated and collaborative response. Both State College and the Commonwealth have seen increases in positive cases and hospitalizations. Today, the PA Department of Health issues, <coughs> issued four additional targeted efforts to control the spread of COVID-19 in the state. Secretary Levine issued the following directives. A memo to acute care hospital CEOs and CMOs encouraging them to work collaboratively and share resources when needed. An order requiring anyone who visits Pennsylvania from another state to get tested within 72 hours before entering PA. Pennsylvanians who travel to other states must follow the same rules when coming home. Now, this does not apply to those who commute to and from another state for work or medical treatment. This is important to remember, considering that the Thanksgiving holiday is coming up and you, many of you are probably planning on having visitors, family visitors from other states. Strengthening the masking order makes masks required anytime you're with people outside of your household, even if you're socially distant. Department of Health and the Pennsylvania Department of Education are issuing recommendations for colleges and universities to develop and implement a testing strategy to prevent outbreaks when students return to campus from the holiday break, which includes testing every student. This will be a major change to the, uh, to the, uh, <clears throat> to the method which Penn State has been using up to this point. Also on Friday, November 20th, Penn State ends in-person instruction for the fall semester. I want to encourage all students departing our community to schedule departure testing, which Penn State is offering. Follow CDC and Department of Health travel guidelines. If you're entering another state, please know the requirements that that state has put in place for visitors and continue to mask and social distance. <clears throat> Students can find more information about returning home at virusinfo.psu.edu. That's B-I-R-U-S-I-N-F-O dot P-S-U dot E-D-U. <clears throat> These guidelines are critical to minimize the chances of unknowingly carrying the virus back to your home and your communities. Thanksgiving is also around the corner and safety should be the number one concern when celebrating this holiday. Gatherings have shown to be an important contributor to spreading the virus. If you're attending or hosting a small Thanksgiving gathering, please remember the following. Our local ordinance prohibits social gatherings of more than 10 people in private homes. It's recommended to either bring your own food or avoid going in and out of areas where food is being handled, like the kitchen. Only have family and friends who live in your community. Consider having the gathering outside or with windows open. Make sure to review the CDC website and have conversations with guests ahead of time to set expectations. And for all information during this video, please view our website at www.statecollegepa.us slash coronavirus. I'll try to enjoy the holiday, but be careful. Enjoy the holiday the safest possible way. And thank you.